I'd like you to meet RSB, an incredible tool for teamwork. Hi, I'm Val, the head of the knowledge at the pitch ground. Let me show you around. Here on the left you have a panel. Here you can set up your account, create and switch workspaces, check your subscription plan, invite and manage team members, and view team activity. Also here you can create a new document space and set it up, create your personal notes and drafts, view templates and archives. All right, let's create your first document. By the way, you can create a child document if you need to. Here also you can manage your documents. Now, if you need more room, you can switch to focus mode and this will hide the side panels. You can also go to read mode or start a chat on this particular document. And there are your document options. OK, let's get to it. Give your document a title and hit enter. Now, if you need to write down something, just start typing your text or paste it. If you need to add some formatting, just select the text and you'll get a text panel where you can find all basic formatting options. Hit shift enter if you need to start a new line or enter to start a new paragraph. Basically, I recommend you to go through the keyboard shortcuts and get familiar with them. It will save you tons of time in future. You can find them here under this question mark. All right, let's take a look at this widget panel. Here you can add bulleted list, numbered list, checklist, tables, images, videos, code snippet, diagram, API endpoint, Swagger user interface, GraphQL, changelog, callout, world map, and divider. We'll get to all of them later. Say you've created some widgets. Now you want to rearrange them. This is how you do it. If you hover the mouse over the widget, you'll see this little panel over here. You can move it up and down, add a new element above or below, mention this item in the document chat, or delete it. Bear in mind that text and lists are not widgets, so you edit them just like in any other text editor. This is how it works. If you have any questions, you can look through the knowledge base or feel free to ask here in the chat.